Hmm. Okay, everyone. <clears throat> Welcome to my walk in the Corley Tunnel Part 1. So, we're on our way to the Corley Tunnel. <clears throat> we have I have to wear gumboots because it's very slushy. Very, very slushy. We need to go down this path. <clears throat> oh, gee, how steep is this? I can't remember how steep this was because this is my second time here. I was only here once and I only took photos. I can just start to see the Corley Tunnel. <clears throat> Oh, God. <sighs> okay, so there's the Corley Tunnel. Really slushy here, but that's okay. I love the slush. How muddy is it, Daddy? It is very slushy and muddy. But it's so worth it. Oh. Oh. Polystyrofoam Island. Oh, God. <sighs> this feels a bit eerie. Okay, let's start walking. I just want to tell you some dark secrets. <clears throat> okay, so <clears throat> there was a story that a coal miner, um, there, there was, the, <clears throat> there was a story that concerning a coal miner was his way <clears throat> from the Metropolitan Colliery to get back to Clifton, but <clears throat> Clifton is not this way, it's the other way, and he got run over by a train. <clears throat> but the train driver said it was one of the short tunnels he was killed in, and there are only two short tunnels the Helensburg Tunnel and the Lilyvale Tunnel number one. Anyway, but it also turns out that someone was killed in this tunnel and his ghost haunts it. This was used as a mushroom tunnel, and you can see the soot. Anyway, yeah, this was used as a mushroom tunnel from uh, about 1960 to 2000. Also, this tunnel is famous for its glow worms, like the Metropolitan Tunnel, which we're going to be exploring next with the Helensburg Tunnel. So let's see if we can see any glow worms. Now we're just in complete darkness. (coughs) 
I can see why someone was killed in the tunnel, but it wasn't Robert Hales. <coughs> it's an illusion tunnel. People <coughs> people think it's like, oh, it's a only a, it's only like 191 meters long. It's 300. You are so wrong because this tunnel is 380 meters. It's like the Libbyvale Tunnel Number Two. <coughs> yeah, let's check if there's any more glowworms. Still nothing. I think they're in these other chambers. They could be in these rooms. Turn them on a bit. But there's some. There's some. Don't turn the light on because it'll turn on. Let's see if I can get a photograph. Yeah, I'm not sure if you can see them, but there are glow worms. Let's keep going. Oh. There's so much soot from like steam trains. <coughs> Imagine you realize how much how much sediment is falling <coughs> Yeah. The so much more. <laughs> Yeah, this is why they needed to make tunnels. Oh, Last time in <clears throat> the Urban Exploration Part 1, like going into the Otford Tunnel, I accidentally stepped on a yabby. Yeah. Nothing. The nothing. We're almost at the end of the tunnel. As you can see, south on the come up. Jungle bird. What else? <coughs> this tunnel is so overgrown. <coughs> What's that? Just a spider web. <coughs> oh God. <sighs> oh, I thought the chair was there. The last time there was a chair. <coughs> All right. So, <clears throat> here's the southern face of the Corley Tunnel. Okay, so I'll catch you in the next um, abandoned tunnel video, which will be in like 30 minutes or something. Goodbye.